And this morning on your health, they are small, they are gross, and they are dangerous. As we all spend more time outdoors now, we need to be on the lookout for ticks. And NBC's senior medical correspondent, Dr. John Torres, has some really important information this morning on tick-borne illnesses and how to protect yourself and your family. Dr. John, good to see you, sir. Good to see you as well. So here's the thing. I mean, the most common, you correct me if I'm wrong, the most common disease that we get from a tick bite, Lyme disease, correct? Right, that's the most common, that's the one we know the most about. And as a matter of fact, they just came out with a study, worldwide, huge study, that found out that around 14% of people have been exposed to Lyme virus somewhere in their lives. They have the antibodies for them. And it, the way it works, 21% in Central Asia or Central Europe here in the United States, around 9%, mostly in areas where the obviously the ticks are, where I yeah. live in Colorado, not so much the Northeast, much, much heavier. How, how do you know? How, what, what are some signs that, that you may have been exposed? So the symptoms are usually what we see with symptoms of other things, fevers, chills, headaches, those types of of things but then you start getting this rash which is a basically a target lesion that looks like a target it has a red spot in the middle some clearing and then a red spot on the outside then you can start getting joint pains that's a picture of the rash there then you can start getting joint pains and it can lead to more complications later on so that's why you want to be extremely careful with these ticks and some folks have have long-term problems and that's as, the problem we're support. finding out more and more long-term problems you can get this arthritis which are these joint pains you can get but on top of that one of the worst ones is you can get these neurological symptoms which can be numbness, weakness, and you can get this facial droop as well, and that can be lifelong. Is it true that there is now a vaccine, a Lyme disease Lyme disease vaccine that's currently in clinical trials? There is a Lyme disease vaccine in clinical trials. We actually had one in 98. They discontinued it in 2002. And now Pfizer and the University of Massachusetts are actually developing one. They're going through human trials right now, hopefully in the next couple of years. It's going to take multiple dosing, maybe every year dosing type of thing. So in areas where people have those ticks. A lot of folks know about Lyme disease. A lot of folks may not know about something that's called alpha-gal sy syndrome. Right. Alpha-gal syndrome is basically a meat allergy, and it comes from a tick that you get bit because it, it actually bits a deer or other animal, a mammal earlier, yeah. and it has that sugar molecule from the meats, it gives it to you, and then you get this meat allergy, and it's just kind of one of those weird things where people come in with this anaphylaxis, this allergic reaction, we don't really know why, and they found out over the years they can start getting this meat allergy. Around 5,000 people a year are getting this, so it's a lot more prevalent than we thought it was. And what about the, the Lone Star Tick? What, what can you tell us about that? So the Lone Star Tick is basically in the southeast region of the United States, and that's the tick that causes this, and so you want to be very careful Got with it. it, and so you just want to make sure you avoid it. And finally, something that it's called a, I've never heard of this one, it's called the Powassan virus? Right, it's the Powassan virus. What Luckily, there aren't too many of them. There's around 43 a year oh, that okay. we get this, and so and it, it, it's not very prevalent, but it just made the news a few weeks ago because there was a woman, unfortunately, a 90-year-old woman that died from Powassan, and we do get a few deaths from this every year. This is also from the deer tick, the same one that causes Lyme disease, and it can cause the, these neurological symptoms. It can cause an encephalitis, which is a swelling of the brain. Mm -hmm. There is no cure for it. There is no medication for it. Really quickly, before we let you get out of here, what can folks who are watching or listening do to prevent... So you want to avoid the ticks. The main thing is to make sure you treat yourself with DEET or Picaridin, you know, those insect sprays, permethrin for your clothes. When you're out in the woods, you know, tuck your pants into your socks. It looks weird, but it really helps out a lot. And then make sure when you come back that you do these daily chicks for ticks, tick checks. You, your children, your dogs as well. And you can see the picture there of where you should do it. When you remove the tick, be very careful. Don't squeeze the body. Just get it from the head, pull it out. Take a shower, check yourself all over. And then in your clothes, make sure you wash and dry them in high heat so that way you kill any ticks that might be there. All right, Dr. John, good info. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.